The reception. The reception. The Let's hope they've got a room left. Still no news of ten-year-old Sean Mars, who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as a gammy killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive, as the previous victims were all killed three to five days Hello after there, their sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. someone there. Is he... Is he wounded? Maybe I should take a look. <sighs> Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Look, it's none of my business. Have you got the key? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. <laughs> Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. I should disinfect his cuts. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. 
Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. I should disinfect his cuts. I should disinfect his cuts. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I... I'm gonna take a shower. All right. Let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Man, I'm thirsty. <sighs> I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. <sighs> 